Picture this, a ship that roams the seas with no crew, no captain, no limits, a silent predator stalking its prey beneath the waves. This isn't a Hollywood blockbuster, it's the U.S. Navy Sea Hunter, the future of maritime warfare. Get ready to dive into a world of cutting-edge tech and naval dominance. Stick with us to the end to see if this is the ultimate unmanned ship or if something even bolder is lurking out there. Hit that like button if you're ready to set sail, and let's dive in. Developed by DARPA and handed to the Navy, the Sea Hunter is the world's largest unmanned autonomous vessel, a 132-foot trimaran built from the keel up to operate without a single soul on board. Launched in 2016 and battle-tested by 2025, this drone ship is a marvel of composite hull design, featuring a foam core and two outrigger floats for stability. Its fiberglass polymerie-enforced skin absorbs stress like a champ, keeping it sturdy at a lean 145 tons fully loaded. Its mission? To hunt the hunters, diesel-electric submarines that dominate global fleets. These subs can lurk underwater for two weeks, outlasting helicopters or planes. A manned ship risks becoming the hunted, but Sea Hunter? It's a game changer. With a range of 10,000 nautical miles at 12 knots and endurance for months up to 70 days on 40 tons of fuel, it can shadow a sub across oceans, waiting for that fatal mistake. Then, bam, a lightweight homing torpedo seals the deal. What powers this beast? A tech arsenal straight out of the future. Twin diesel engines push it to 27 knots over 31 miles per hour, while AI drives its autonomy suite, radar, optical guidance, and high-frequency sonar. It dodges obstacles, plots courses, and tracks targets solo, with sparse supervisory control letting a land-based crew tweak sensors or weapons only when it's go time. And then there's the Talon Elevated Sensor Mast, a militarized parasail towing a 150-pound payload up to 1,500 feet. Think communication relays, spy gear, or missile guidance, all without satellites. But subs are just the start. This ship's unmanage opens wild possibilities, ambushing enemy ships with anti-ship missiles, duking it out with Iranian speedboat swarms in the Strait of Hormuz, or sailing foreign coasts scooping up radio signals with a Talon spy package. It can even run resupply missions in hot zones, all without risking a single sailor. Since joining the Surface Development Squadron, it's ace tests like the 2019 San Diego to Pearl Harbor run, proving it's ready for the big leagues. Here's the kicker, it's cheap. At $15,000 to $20,000 a day to operate, Sea Hunter laughs at the $700,000 daily tab of a guided missile destroyer. One crew can run multiple Sea Hunters remotely, slashing personnel costs that eat up the Navy's budget. With limited manned ships to tackle growing threats, this is the force multiplier the Navy's been dreaming of. Is Sea Hunter the best unmanned ship out there? Maybe, but meet Nomar's Defiant, a 240-ton Titan unveiled in 2025. Built for even longer hauls and bigger payloads, it's nipping at Sea Hunter's heels. Which one's your pick for King of the Seas? Drop your vote in the comments. The Navy's taking a giant leap into the future, and Sea Hunter is leading the charge, hunting subs, rewriting warfare, and keeping sailors safe. If this deep dive hooked you, smash that subscribe button, ring the bell, and tell us, what mission would you send Sea Hunter on? Let's keep the convo rolling below. See you next time, stay curious, and fair winds.